Hello everyone, this is size 10 grub hook and the bead is 3.5 millimeter tungsten and just start below the eye the thread I'm using is rusty brown and I'll explain all the materials so just use touch and turn here simple pattern to tie Just keep going towards the bend as a rather large pattern. Okay, for the body, this is a brown stretchy elastic one millimeter thick. So just melt one side. If you just thin it down like this, so you can catch it easily as you can see now if you catch that the thin end and use your touch and turn and keep coming back towards the bead all the way Now, if you can bring this, the thin end is, you know, I'm just trying to get a tapered shape, so. Okay catch that here secure this properly and just take away this extra okay. piece and the next thread I'm using is block A2 because uh, the head is blocked so it's much better using the block head Black thread, sorry. Okay, for the legs, I'm using this is a brown partridge feather. So, if I can get this middle bit out, I'm gonna cut this off and then create a, just a V shape like this and just put them on top either end. Take your time again, it's a little tricky, you know, just make sure they're facing downward. You can always come back if you're not happy. I'm going to pull them out. So they can sit properly. I think that should be okay. It'll have to be 100%. And then secure this properly. some marks on the thread and this is a one of my mixed dubbing uh, black haze here with some red mix so if you could just add this on I'm gonna rotate the vise so
Okay, and then I'm gonna add some varnish on your thread. Hold everything back. And we finish. some of those fibers actually make a little nice coffee head so there you have a brown cottage larva I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching